So Solana is in trouble again, and today we're going to discuss whether or not you should be selling Solana today or buying it. So we're going to go through my opinions around that. We're going to go through the fundamentals, the technicals, and of course, we're going to be shining a spotlight on some cryptos that I think you guys should at least be paying attention to. With that said, let's jump straight into today with Solana struggling. A record 75% of user TXs are failing. Or are they? Well, yes, they are, because I tried to send loads of Solana yesterday to two different people and it didn't work at all. And I literally said to them, I think Solana might be broken, but no one even noticed yet. And then my Solana position went down like 10%, which is very annoying. But what is going on? The Solana network appears to be struggling to keep up with the ravenous demand for meme coins, with data showing roughly 75% of transactions on the network are currently failing. Meaning if you send, let's say 10 transactions, two and a half of them are going to go through and the rest are going to fail. So you can still send the transactions, but the majority of them will fail. You need to keep trying and trying and trying and trying. And this actually shows us that Solana is not actually as quick as they say they are, because if they can't do all of the transactions of the thousands of transactions that they say they can do per second, they're not actually as fast. And that does bring us back to why Ethereum is actually one of the biggest chains in the space. We'll discuss that in a second. Now, roughly three quarters of all transactions on the Solana network have been failing amid the deluge of activity. Deluge. What's a deluge? Deluge. Sam, this is Sam here. Do you guys recognize this guy? <laughs> oh, a deluge. Well, because of the deluge of recent meme coin mania on Solana. However, proponents say that the data is being widely misinterpreted. Dune analytics show that on April 4th, just over 75% of all non-vote Solana transactions failed. Now, they're basically saying that the vast majority of the failed non-vote transactions were simply bot spam. This usually is not a big problem for users because your wallet will simulate the transaction and let you know it will work beforehand. Anyway, about 95% of the entire chart is just bots failing arbitrage, arbitrage attempts. Now, I don't agree with that, actually, because I was trying to do transactions and it didn't work. So I think that's nonsense. And I think that's them trying to cover their tracks. Now, this leads us into the idea. Is it time for us to sell our Solana, buy something else, what are we doing? Well, for me personally, I can only tell you what I'm doing. I am still holding my Solana today. You can potentially dollar cost average if you were late to the party. Here on this channel, we have been buying Solana since it was $20 in this bear market, and we were buying it previously in the last bull market, before the last bull market, ascent, uh, et cetera. So the fact that it's at $170 doesn't really scare me at all because I bought it at $20. And that's the key to get into something early. But some of you didn't do that, and that's fair enough. So if you did start to get into Solana recently, right now may very well be the perfect dollar cost averaging time because Solana has continuously failed in the past and continuously bounced back. So you need to ask yourself, do you think Solana is going to bounce back? Do you think this is the end for Solana? And if it's not the end, then this is a perfect buy the dip opportunity. Now, we do have the Bitcoin halving coming in two weeks, okay? Exactly two weeks today. There is normally a pullback for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market before the halving. We may be currently in that pullback and the pullbacks may not be as intense as the last ones in the last bull run or if not worse, okay? So be prepared. If you are buying Solana today, for example, be prepared that it's been on a uh, absolutely insane run recently and it can come down significantly. I wouldn't be surprised to see Solana at $100 again. That wouldn't surprise me. So you need to understand if you are buying today, you need to be prepared to be buying it all the way down. That's how I would trade this if I was late to the Solana party. Because I'm still holding Solana from the $20, I will just hold it for now. I may even take some more profits if we do get a bounce from here. Now, in the short term, this could be a great opportunity to be trading Solana you could buy Solana on this dip if you believe it's going to bounce. We can do that on our exchange platforms that we have linked down there in the description. You can see there is a big sell-off here. And one way that I've discussed with you guys that I like to trade with leverage is simply buying on opportunities where I think prices are unfairly beaten down. Now, Solana could be unfairly beaten down and you could start a small position where we are now, adding to that position 
on the way down. I'm gonna open 1% here, which is for Solana. Yes, it's a small trade, but it doesn't matter. Here we can see I have this small trade. Where is it? I have this small trade here. Four is $680. We have $68 of margin. And here, if the price continues to drop, I can add to this position as we go down to actually bring my average price down and then hopefully make the best of a bounce if we have one. Now, if we look at this, we can see that right now we are on a very strong level of support. So hopefully this holds. If it doesn't hold, we could put something like a stop loss down here at 160 and a take profit up here at the old all-time highs. And with that said, guys, if you are looking for a new exchange, I am partnered here on the channel with Simple FX and they are offering a $5,000 deposit bonus plus 5% cash back if you do follow the links down there in my description. Now, I have done a deep dive video into these guys, so go and check that out. But it is a very good platform that you can trade a bunch of different commodities, crypto, FX, basically everything all in one place. So I would highly suggest going to check this out and of course you can get that absolutely massive deposit bonus down there in the description and everything that is happening right now with Solana brings me back to the reason why I am very comfortable holding a very large position in Ethereum yes the trades on Ethereum are very expensive it's slow it can be very frustrating to trade meme coins on Ethereum and all of that sort of stuff I understand but Ethereum does not go down okay it has its problems it has its scaling issues all of that but it doesn't go down it's been around for the longest and I feel the most comfortable in that being one of the systems that we go on to use. Yes, we need to figure out how we get mass adoption using Ethereum, but Solana failing again last night is case in point as to why I am still very bullish on Ethereum and I do still think it's going to be a very good trade going into this bull run, although I have been wrong so far. Bitcoin has outperformed Ethereum and I need to just wait and I need to see if my idea and my thesis pays off. And looking at the spotlight, we do have Tencent, one of the launch pads that we use here on the channel, launching their first meme coin, okay? 100% trust, 100% tokens in circulation, 100% funds for liquidity and buyback. So they're just teasing at it right now. Check Tencent's Twitter down there in the description if you do want to see more about the meme coin they are going to be launching. On top of that, we have Satoshi Sync. This is a project I spoke to you loads about. I was an early investor into this project and I like what they're doing. It's in the BRC20 space and they did just go live yesterday uh, on MEXC and a number of different platforms. You can see there was initial push upwards, then there was a consolidation phase, another leg to the top, another leg to the upside here. And now we are pulling back. This is both due to the fact that early investors are taking profits and the fact that the market is, of course, in a little bit of a pullback. So with that said, this could be an opportunity if you were, if you were waiting for one to get involved in Satoshi Sync. I'm not telling you to buy anything. I am an early investor into this. I like what they're doing, but only time will tell what will happen with the price. With that said, the overall market, the greed and fear index is still in extreme greed. Bitcoin's price is struggling as we speak. Speak. We have been watching these patterns play out and these very strong supports and resistance. You can see we were playing between it. We lost it just the other day, the $69,000 region. We've come up and retested it last night, 69,000, and we got sharply rejected. So the bears are in power right now and we want to be holding the $65,000 region. If we do start to lose that, we do have really a magnet waiting for us all the way down to about $52,000. The liquidation heat map is telling us that there are a ton of liquidations waiting as the market is going long as we speak. We can see here there are billions of dollars of liquidations waiting at around the $64,000 region, which could then create a cascading effect for Bitcoin and affecting your altcoin. So be prepared for what might happen by smashing that subscribe button and staying up to date with everything that happens in the market. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know if you made it to the end of the video by commenting on by commenting my financial friend, because that is whose studio I am in right now. There he is right there, my financial friend. Give him a follow too. Yeah, yeah, give him a follow. I won't leave the link to his uh, YouTube down there because he's got too many followers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.